Okay. So how difficult was it, you know, growing up as a child with such a high level of uh, IQ? It was fun. Fun? Yeah. You didn't face any challenges or problems? I, I think you did face issues. See, uh, problems. A coin requires two sides for it to be authorized. You cannot have one-sided coin. You need both the sides. Right. It's equally important because problems or your challenges is your chance to prove yourself. Because when you're not given a chance to prove yourself, how could you do it? You cannot climb it for yourself. You need to uh, show it out, show it out to the public. You have to prove it with some proof. So problems or the chan chances. So she got uh, double promotions in a primary class twice. Yeah. She completed the first and second standard in one year. When I'm saying completed, she wrote Every class one exam. and class two exam in one year. Yeah. And then you went to class three. And class three and four in one year. Yeah. Tell us about that. That was one of my memorable thing in my life. It's like class one, I finished, I started with a regular stream in July and I finished the annual exam uh, by November and I took one day leave uh, on November 14th I enjoyed and the next day 15th onwards I went for uh, class 2. I wrote every single exam and got about 90 percent. So that is and I, I went through the class 2 with the class 2 students. I will come back to that and about class 3 I started it again in the next academic year with uh, July. I finished off the class 3 by, no, I started with June and I finished off by July and from July I started to class 4. So the thing is there was a slight difficulty not in the academics but in the interpersonal relation with the class 2 and class 4 students because of the age gap. So when I was uh, getting double promotion to class 2. After class 1, finishing of all the exams and to class 2, many students, because I would be very tiny at that time when compared to the class 2 students and they can physically identify me easily. Um, I was uh, like an odd man out in the whole crowd of classroom. For an example, if I just uh, want to peek into their note because up to November, they would have done their almost up to half a portion right. would be there, around four chapters would have been covered in their regular stream. I would have to learn that also for, because uh, in December I have to face the half a with the second uh, standard students. So if I just speak into their note what has been taught, they will just pull it out. They will be just keeping me as an alien, I will be alienated. Yeah, because I am small. And uh, teachers sometimes would compare because in academics I just started to cope up and every time I got first rank and some used to, some teachers, not all, some teachers used to say like a smaller girl than you, uh, she is scoring better, what's wrong with you, like that provoked the students, uh, but that is for just one month, just like a starting trouble. Um, I would not be accepted by the first standard students again because they will say you left us, why are you coming back? I could not have lunch with the first standard classmates or second standard, so I started with the teachers. <laughs> yeah, that, that happened. Uh, even in, uh, up to now, up to college, every break uh, interval of mine will be spent with You're the teachers. You are also beaten up, right? You yeah, that also. happened in fourth class because in uh, first and second, the age gap was one year. But third and fourth, because Second standard is also in the same academic year and fourth in the next one. So my age gap was two years. That, there was a little bit more uh, difficulty with the fourth standard students because at that time I have to be in second class. But I was in fourth. Again, in that time parents also got to know. Like uh, when compared to second standard, it got public. Um, Parents also provoked the students and it was like they used to beat me with the skating rollers. I don't know how I will get beaten up but I will get beaten up. They will push me down the stairs or uh, anything can happen to me anytime. I would like to record the name of the teachers, Bhagavati Miss and Jeeva Miss. They used to come yearly to the class in order to safeguard me from the students. Because if they get 5 minutes late, I had to be hospitalized. 
Even for an example, my doctor's son, he was in the same class and he used to beat me with that. So on this teacher's day, would you like to say something to your teachers who protected you? Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, because I was used to feel a motherly love from you because uh, I was small at that time. You gave me more uh, care and, and thank you so much. And I would like to thank my principal, Renuka ma'am, because she was coordinating all the whole thing, my uh, double promotion and all the thing, not only the examination, special question papers for me, the whole process which included these uh, things also. The beating up things happened just only for right. one or two months. So, uh, the principal you mentioned, the teachers, but not everyone was supportive. I, I understand that at one point of time, the school could not keep you and they yeah, that put you happened. out. And for about six, seven months, you were without a school. That yeah. was a very difficult period of Up your to life. fifth class, I was in that school. But after that, in sixth class, I started to face one problem, age problem for attending the public examination in 10, 12. You need to be around uh, 16 years plus, uh, sorry, 15 years plus for 10th and 17 plus for 12th. But if I go in this way uh, with the double promotion, I would face an age problem. So the schools were not ready to support me during that time and they started to throw me out of the school just because I study or learn fast compared to other students in my sixth class. I was thrown out for three times by three schools. It was like uh, 16 sets of uniforms will be there in my house. Um, also, at that time, Samachir Kalvi was not there. Each and every school will have a different uh, syllabus. I'll have four sets of syllabus, uh, four sets of books. If a question is asked, I'll be saying four sets of answers. My life was like, what? What am I going to do? Because the TZ will always be in my hand. No school was ready to take me in. At that time, my parents approached uh, the director of school education. Dr. Uh, Permar Sami sir, he was very, very supportive. He said one fact, a child from a teacher's family who has a good capability in academics should be in school. Many schools, many schools in Thirunal Valley, they just said, have your child in homeschooling. It's okay, homeschooling is popular now, but not in that time, around 2000, uh, 10 and all. I was thrown out repeatedly. It was giving me so much depression to me, my parents, my family and all. My grandparents used to say, they were government school teachers. They used to say like, I'm teaching all the students of, uh, of the society, but why, am, why my child isn't home? Why she is not giving, uh, getting admission in a small school at least? But the director of school education, he took charge and he took care of my problem and I was given an opportunity to school choose any school throughout the state. I chose IIP Lakshmi Raman Metric Higher Secondary School in Trunal Valley. I continued my education from there. But now, which school, the, those, all those schools which threw me out, they are now putting my newspaper articles in their notice boards saying this is our alumni. I would not been have I would have not been in that school for even a month, just two to three weeks. But still, I'm an uh, old student of the school. So this is the fact, which I consider as an achievement. Because life will keep throwing us so many things. It would be positive things or negative things. But a person stands where he is able to change his positive to negative or negative to positive. Yeah. I'm happy that I've changed my negative to positive.